Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth from City University. Um, Ray was meant to be here, but um, unfortunately she's not well, so you've only got me. Um, very interesting talk presentation by Sunday. I think some things I'm going to be linking in there as well. But basically what I'm talking to you today about is a little project we've got going at City, which is an evaluation of um, using team spaces. Um, and um, that we kind of started using over lockdown. Just to start us off, how many here are using team spaces or have used the team spaces? Most of you, most have had experience. Who hasn't had experience of team spaces? I think. Oh, okay, so here you have not used team spaces. Right, so interesting. So most of you have an idea of what a team space looks like. So basically, um, what we decided to do at City was for each Moodle module, you could have a team space allocated to it that could be activated by the module leader. Um, so this was an option. Um, and it was the idea of having a team space where students could go in there and, you know, create a community of learning and interact with each other and chat and post stuff and share. Whereas Moodle will be your institutional assessment, you know, boring bit. Whereas Teams will be the exciting, let's all get very creative and collaborate bit. Um, it wasn't taken up by a lot of um, uh, academics, but a few did to run with it. And um, we decided to carry out a little evaluation um, and ask those academics that had done, had used team spaces, how they caught on. And um, we also invited some students to come and talk to us as well. Didn't get a lot. We got 10 academic um, lecturers and 12 students. However, we did quite a sort of intense um, interviewing uh, process and we took all their answers and put them on spreadsheets and 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 got themes out of it so I think we 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 managed to get some interesting information from them um it's still not finished but hopefully we'll be finished soon we're in the sort of final draft but just to show you the process if we go to the um the board so what we did was um okay. <laughs> this is a mirror board by the way if we, um, we went through our spreadsheet, we found the themes, and then we did the brainstorming thing where we chucked everything on the board. As you can see, it's all a bit of messy working out and things, but we managed to break it down into about nine different themes. And what I'm doing today is I just talked to you about what we found out, what students were saying. We've got a lot of information there, but it's a lot. Um, but um, so I haven't put any of the staff comments in, but just looking at some of the areas that students themselves have focused on. So the first area, I think, if we go to our little spreadsheet, is um, trying to remember what it is already, <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think if we. Um, <coughs> They were a bit stuck there. Yes. Okay. okay, good. So if we go to the first one, the top right one there, and scroll into that. So the first area we had here was around learning design and looking at um, students, um, sorry, at staff digital skills. So if we sort of, yeah, it's a lot of information there, but if we, and if we can get any bigger there. We had some positive, I'll just read them out to you, but we had some positive things about that. So, for example, one student said, I can share this afterwards as well if you want to look at this, that what works well is when a module leader is very experienced and is using teams and is very organized. So saying some sort of basic things there. And also in terms of what works well, I don't know if we can make this any bigger, in terms of um, Teams was offering quite a lot of personalization. So one student saying, I'm struggling to understand something. She was like, um, "Try call me and I'll uh, on Teams. And so the students sort of literally call their, their um, 
uh, lecturer and the lecturer would answer them. Not something that would be encouraged, but it was the idea that the student felt supported and that there was always a presence there on the teams if they needed to ask, um, you know, to, to ask any questions. Um, so good things about teams here was the idea of a well-planned um, team space, as well as having access to support um, through their lecturers. However, in terms of thinking about negative uh, or critical things about some um, students' digital skills, sorry, staff digital skills, then again, it's quite, um, yeah. <laughs> sorry, but, um, some of the things they were suggesting were obviously the technical skills, like a lecturer who wasn't using their camera well enough to focus um, when working out a math solution, for example, or, um, or the way that a lecture was, the way that a lecturer was teaching was all over the place and things weren't in um, going in the natural sequence, a bit like here. And, um, <laughs> um, but one that was very interesting was that tutors weren't, according to this student, tutors weren't aware of the potential that teams had to get students to work together, to collaborate together, possibly by um, you know, amending and editing a document um, and sort of working on it as a, as a, as a group. Um, and just the lack of experience of using teams that was also picked on by students themselves, just users not having not as much experience, we would get stuck where we'd be looking at the PowerPoint, but instead we'd be looking at our faces and then everybody just kind of turns off their cameras. So it's the idea of, you know, uh, staff having those skills to use team space well, students picked up um, if there was a uh, if you know if they felt that it needed more work on basically if we go down to the next um point that students picked up on a lot which is around student groups um student groups and collaboration i mean that's what team space is all about and uh, we had some very positive things about that so again if we can um don't know if we can make that a bit bigger but some um, things like interacting in channels so on a team space, you have a series of channels. Um, one student saying it's easy to work collaboratively. Um, it's, it's we, you know, we're doing a module where we go in groups and we meet in these channels and then we share everything and then we can go back and see what we've shared. And it's all that flexibility that they really appreciated. And also the fact there's no kind of, um, hierarchy to it as well. There's not someone who holds to master copy. We all have free access to all the resources. So everybody feels they're equal. There's no kind of master holder, maybe like they get the sense in Moodle. And other positive things about the, um, the uh, well, a negative thing, of course, is the usual, which I'm sure many of us have heard, particularly with online, uh, teaching and learning is the camera off and on the engagement. We've got some quite sad uh, feedback from here from students. Um, so obviously a lot of uh, the lecturers themselves were saying how they found it very frustrating that people turned off their cameras or were not engaging. But here we have some students is saying when you're in a breakout room and you say hi and no one answers back, you just end up doing all your work by yourself. Or um, this other one, which is very sad here. Uh, it was very cold in the beginning. So it's that sense of coldness and, and complete sort of detachment from the rest of their learning community. Um, so that was a big thing as, as we thought it would be. But then if we go on to working in groups, some six students commented that they found teams very helpful for that. It helped them in terms of organization and organizing their own groups together. So they really like that. And here one's mentioning how one particular lecture, lecturer was really good at using the groups. She would create groups and then she would get the groups to work on something and then get them all back in together. And every group shared what they did. And, and it was you know, a really good use of the sort of functionality of teams to do that. So very much appreciated by the student there. But if we go down more, 
<laughs> Sorry, um, this is another one, again, very small, but where, but where do students really interact is uh, something that came up. And what's actually mentioned a few times. Um, so here we have six students that commented. We didn't ask them about WhatsApp. This is what they came up with. And the lecturers themselves talked a lot about WhatsApp as well. But here we have um, WhatsApp. I think that's everyone's go-to. But we also had the negative side of WhatsApp here, uh, quite a, again, another slight sad comment. Um, if you're not in a WhatsApp group, because um, I joined Quan quite late, not realizing they existed. So it can be isolating in the sense that you don't actually know that all these things are going on around you. So that's the sense of uh, quite a, an important message there. And here we have a bit more of a sinister one here saying, I think for our year, a lot of people have conducted uh, colluding just in WhatsApp, and they think they're not going to get caught with it. So that's obviously one thing that, um, that, that was said by students themselves. However, not all students felt like that. We've got this one student who was a law student who says, meeting up with my peers, Teams is much more professional. And she was thinking about her own um, kind of digital safety, if you will. I don't want to give my numbers to some people. And so like I did more um, in terms of group work, I used Teams rather than WhatsApp. So she was very sensible, I think, this person here. Um, and um, so, but is it, so the last comment I think from this point is if we go on the blue sticker here, is do students know what they can do on Teams? So in fact, one student is say, here saying, if we could set up our own private team groups where no one can come and see what we're doing in there, then we could use that instead. But you can, but no one had told them they could. So that's a recommendation there that we would like to put forward. Um, but again, another one here, in fact, underneath, I, uh, my colleagues and I used to maybe have chats there and do actual private team calls. So some of them did. I don't know if they found it by accident, or it's because the academic told them, the lecturer told them, do that. That's a good way of doing that. Um, then we go on to the next point, next couple of points, which were about extra tools. So what tools were used by both teachers and students? Um, in teams, what things did they use or what did they prefer to use? And there's some interesting things. So some um, students really um, wanted more of a calendar integration. Uh, they found it very easy to use Teams on the calendar and they knew where they were or what they wanted to do. Um, a few, I think about three, said that Teams is much better than Moodle, much better because they could do all this collaboration and it was so much more flexible and the recordings and they could find what they needed and they felt more in control. Um, more integration, obviously, between Teams and Moodle. Um, the flexibility, the fact that you record things, that you can put um, links on the chat, you can put in links to wherever you want, from which you may have missed. Um, so everybody found that pretty good. And then the final one, which is very tiny here, don't get it big, is not Zoom. Um, a lot of, again, we didn't say, tell us about Zoom, we're just talking about Teams, but a lot of comparison with Zoom. Um, again, some saying, you know, Zoom's great for some things, um, or this one saying, I've seen my sister use Zoom and it's horrible or this one, Zoom, it's more difficult to find their recordings. So what they liked about Teams is you're in a team channel, you have a meeting, there's a recording, and you could, and people putting links or the lecturers putting links and resources into the chat, you can relax, watch it. Whereas if you're on Zoom, you have to take everything down before the end of the Zoom meeting because everything's going to disappear. So that was, um, something about, you know, the, you, the files, the resources that are shared, they're always going to be accessible. I can always access them rather. Um, so that was a, a, a good retrieval of resources, was a winning point for teams, for sure. And, minutes left this question. Sorry? A couple of minutes. Oh, right. Okay. Um, technical limitations, well, usual internet crashing, particularly when using specialist software, very frustrating. Um, and uh, screen sharing and time lag. So those are kind of the limitations come up. 
and yeah, that's it. I think a couple of minutes. I'll just stop there then. And uh, uh, any questions? Recommendations? Uh, we have some recommendations. The idea was that I don't think we're going to get big enough. Was to give you all one recommendation each in your table and think about. And well, we could try and do that maybe. Yeah. Um, see how big can we make them. So these are some of the draft recommendations. So they're not complete. And just wondering if you could maybe take one on each table and just uh, think about that. But uh, yeah, I think we don't have much in terms of uh, time to do that. But recommendation one, uh, looking at the comments, um, lecturers also made comments about WhatsApp, obviously. So it was a, a quite a big uh, part of the um, response. Uh, useful to support and encourage students to collaborate on team sites and support them in thinking about creating their own study learning groups on teams rather than on WhatsApp. Difficult one, that one, but what can we do to do? How can we support that? Um, recommendation two, get the positive feedback from the students about how they enjoy coming into teams in groups to learn. And that came through and share that a lot with the, with the sort of academic uh, um, staff. Three, uh, guidance. This was an issue with teams meeting and team spaces. So it was a bit of confusion what the difference between the two, but have the team meetings in the spaces so that the students are already in that space and are ready to sort of work there. Um, for create guidance for students how to set up their own private groups. Um, another uh, five was um, create more training guidance on how to fully exploit all the potential sort of uh, uh, potential uh, off the team spaces themselves and saying some of the students pointing out that their lecturers maybe didn't quite know what they could do in that space. And six, to push for more of a development to build up of a community of practice for the lecturers themselves to build up their practice and using team spaces for teaching and learning. So yeah, that's it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> One quick question, if anybody's got a quick question. We'll share the mirror so you can have a look at some that. of the comments. Any questions? Maybe in Zoom. Any in Zoom? Sorry, I, I just got logged out of Zoom. Any questions in Zoom for you? Uh, oh. Yeah, it's one, one question uh, from Ricardo. What level of planning, guidance and moderation were provided by academics who were more successful users of team classes spaces? What? Sorry, I missed the first bit. What level of planning, guidance, and moderation were provided by academics who were more successful users of team class? So right, because we mainly started um, over lockdown, it was like everything else in emergency mode. But we've got a, a teams. We've got a couple of communities on our team space for for um, uh, staff themselves. We've got a. A teams, uh, the technical sort of team space. So if you had any problems with the technical side of things, you could ask them there. We also got a learning and teaching team space. That's more around the pedagogy of, um, of, of teaching online and where we would also have these kind of light lunches every Thursday, which were an online informal session where you come and share what you're doing or, or um, see other what others are doing. Um, that wasn't very well as usual. These things kind of happen in a little bit of a corner, however much you try and sort of, you know, disseminate the idea that this is there and this is available. And obviously with uh, staff, as, as we know, very time poor and they have so much to juggle, quite difficult for them to, um, you know, sometimes find their way to these things. So, but we, we tried doing these team community sites mainly to begin with and guidance, the, the guidance we have in our, on our guidance sites. 